What is up everybody? My name is Justin. This is Forever Self Employed. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to steal your competition's customers. Now, before I get into that, I want to mention a few things. First and foremost, a few months back, we released the 0 to 7k pressure washing business course. Now, the course is now sold in over 5 countries and over 30 states. Absolutely fantastic turnout. I really appreciate you guys. The starting price on the course was 197.99. We wanted to get a bunch of people into it. We wanted to get a bunch of testimonials, a bunch of people giving me some good feedback on it so we kind of see what we're missing what we needed to add and things like that i've already had two people on the channel who had fantastic testimonials to give me if you guys missed those videos uh, one dude landed a two thousand dollar job the day after he started using my facebook ads spencer was the other guy he made ten thousand dollars in three months uh, with his pressure washing business at 15 years old i'm going to be having a bunch more people come on give their testimonials tell their stories tell how long they've been in the business for and give some advice to the younger guys who are just getting into it however i do want to let you guys know that the price of the course will be going up to $297.99 starting August 1st. So that gives you guys about 10 days. If you want to hop in now at the lower price, hop in. If you don't care about the course, it's all good. Doesn't matter. Just want to let you guys know I will be having some other guys on the channel to tell their story and the price will be going up August 1st. Now let's go ahead and get into the topic at hand, how to steal your competition's customers before people get butthurt in the comment section i just want to let you guys know that there is no scarcity for work so get that out of your head like even me sharing how i get all my business in this course i'm not scared for work there are services that you haven't even thought about doing yet that could make you tons and tons of money not to mention if you just follow the steps that i'm going to give you guys on the end of this you're going to be golden no matter what service business you decide to go in no matter if you switch your business to another service whatever you do you can follow these steps and guidelines and you can pretty much steal your competition's business. So first things first, I got a text that said this, um, a lady messaged me and she said, Hey, Justin, are you still doing pressure washing work? I said, yes, ma'am. Absolutely. She said, we have been getting the same guy to pressure wash our house for the past few years, but I can no longer get in touch with him. He usually does our house carport and driveway but we only need our house at this time and the screenshot you guys are seeing is actually from my instagram page if you guys want to follow my instagram it's at forever self-employed i drop all kind of stuff on there so on that instagram post i said take care of your customers or they will be calling someone else which in this case this lady knew i did pressure wash washing work and she gave me a call it's probably about 500 to 800 dollars worth of work that this guy just passed on to me because he didn't pick up his phone. He didn't answer the phone. So I went out and did a quote on um, the house as well as she wanted a back shed washed. Uh, I didn't get any footage of it, unfortunately. The heat index is well over 100 over here. So for me to be dragging around a camera around the yard while I'm doing this kind of work, uh, just doesn't really work out too well. So I'm going to wait till it kind of cools down a little bit. I do have some shorter jobs coming for you guys. So wait, anyway, let's go ahead and get into the key points on how you can steal your competition's customer. Because in this case, this guy did service work for this lady for multiple years he was doing the driveway the house and uh, the carport as well and this was a ton of work maybe he's not in the business anymore but i'm going to tell you guys how you can ca capitalize on these older customers even if you're not doing the service anymore so first and foremost do good work for a long time also be well known for what you do in the community. So for me, I post on Facebook. I do these job recaps on Facebook. I'm always sharing before and after pictures. I'm well known within my community that I do good work. Also, I've been in business for multiple years. You know, it might take you multiple years to build up this reputation. So this lady has been getting this service done for multiple years. She knew that I existed for multiple years, but she already had a guy that was taking care of her and doing a good job. But I was in the background of her mind. You know, as soon as this guy slipped up, guess what? She's texting me. She's calling me. She's saying, hey, Justin, can you come out and give me a quote on this? So do good work for a long time. Be well known within the community for what you do. Next, treat your customers well. I've actually done work for people within her social circle. Um, always get back to perspective customers this guy slipped up he didn't even get back with her it would have been one thing if he would have texted her and said hey look i'm no longer doing this i'm going to tell you guys a tip here in just a second on how you can kind of um, leverage this older customer into more money for yourself but always get back with prospective customers don't leave people on red if somebody's inquiring about something even if you don't take care of it this is what you can do get someone that you can refer leads out to if you're too busy and you can get a commission on it so basically if i was this guy let's say that i stopped doing pressure washing maybe i became a realtor maybe i got a desk job whatever what i would do is i would find another reputable company within the area 
and I would be able to reference her out to them. And I would say, hey, you know, let's say her name was Sarah. Hey, Miss Sarah, I'm no longer doing this service. However, I do have a company that I highly, highly recommend. Um, I've been referencing out a lot of my jobs to them and basically have an agreement with the company that says, hey, for every lead that I send you guys, um, you'll give me 10% of the lead because he could have easily made 50 to 80 bucks on this lead if he would have just sent Miss Sarah over to this other company. And maybe Miss Sarah doesn't even save the other company's number. And the next year she hits him up again and she says, hey, Zachary, whatever his name is. Hey, Zachary, can you come out and do my pressure wash? work hey miss sarah sorry still not doing the service anymore however this company i highly recommend they they do a lot of um, referral work for me so anyway i'm going to go over the tips one more time first of all do good work for a long time be well known um, for what you do within the community treat your customers well always get back to prospective customers and then get someone you can refer leads out to if you're too busy and get a commission on it if you're too busy or you don't do the service anymore for me now luckily i found mr billy um, i'm going to be referring out any quotes that i can't do to mr billy because i had a terrible experience i'm going to share this in another video i tried to refer out to a friend he did terrible fumbled and now we lost that customer and now we probably lost anybody else within her social circle so i'll do another video on that in the future definitely hit the thumbs up button for me if you guys want to see it so i also want to mention just how you can steal other people's customers they can do the same for you so if you don't get back to your customers you don't treat them well you're not well known within the community i mean your stuff is just going to fall apart but like i said if you're a beginner you're just working on this just remember there's no scarcity so take care of the people and keep them within your sphere of influence last tip before we leave this i want to mention that um, i'm referring jobs out to mr billy now if i can't handle them they're too big i don't feel like messing with them i can't finish them within the timeline just because i know that he's going to do a good job and he's going to give me my referral fee but he also does this mr billy does a lot of odd jobs because he doesn't want competition getting too close to his customers he has a saying for it i forgot what the saying was um, but basically if his customers need something he will try his best to provide the service no matter how big or small that is if they need a light bulb change if they need anything done you can take this one of two ways you don't want to become somebody who just does work um who just does like handyman work however on the other end i do understand he doesn't want any anybody else sniffing around his territory if you will because his territory is his territory and he doesn't want to give his customer any reason to give anyone else any money take that for what you will just do a good job for your customers keep them or else they will call someone else i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up here uh, the word of the day is going to be take care. I would say take care of your customers, but that's kind of long. I know some of you guys are kind of lazy in the comment section. I don't want to comment the whole thing. So word of the day is take care. If you made it this far in the video, comment down below. Take care and I'll hashtag you a real one. My name is Justin. This is Forever self Employed. If you guys want to check out the course, first link in the comment section in the description. The second link will be to the course testimonials. Price goes up August 1st. Just want to let you guys know that. Until next time, hustle hard and get that money, baby. Peace.